Good morning. Myself Ashish Desai, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Department. Today I am presenting a case study on mechanical system design. So first of all, we discuss the content. So in that we discuss the first case study that is automated drilling. Second case study is automated packaging. Third case study is for automated detection, sorting, and packaging. So first of all, we discuss the automated drilling. So normally we know that in conventional drilling machine, the drill moves up and down by manually as well as the clamp is also manually. So here we replace this by manually method by pneumatic system. So here we require three solenoid walls that is one, two and three. This is the third solenoid walls placed over here for clamping purpose. So solenoid wall one is used for drill moves down. Solenoid wall two is moves for drill moves up then solenoid 3 is for clamping purpose as well as we required four limit switches so this limit switch 1 identifies the drill up then limit switch 2 identifies the required length for the drill then next limit switch 3 is identify the unclamped position of the workpiece and then limit switch 4 is for clamping of workpiece so these are the four limit switches. So first of all, we divide the input and output ports for preparing the PLC ladder diagram. So here we know that all the switches and sensors we consider as the input ports. So here the start button and stop button of motor is input port. Start pump and stop pump is also input port and the four limit switches is consider the input port. Similarly, we discuss the output models. You know that all three solenoid walls are considered as a output port and motor and pump is also considered as an output port. So motor is used for rotating the drill bit. Pump is used for forcing the air pressure to the pneumatic systems and solenoid one, solenoid one is used for drill moves down and solenoid 2 is for drill moves up and solenoid 3 is for clamping purpose. So these are the three walls. Now we consider the ladder diagram. When start button is pressed, the motor is on. So because of this which is momentary, so that's why we can provide a latching circuit. So this is stop button. So it is required for emergency purpose. So we can place over here. This is normally close contact. Then we move for starting the next output that is pump. So pump is used for forcing the air pressure in the pneumatic system. So when you press the stop the start button, then pump is starts. But this is the switch is momentary. So that's why also we can provide a latching circuit. Uh, so I given the same same preference over here. So also here we can provide a stop pump because the emergency is required. So that time we can switching it the stop pump. So normally we clamp first. So that's why the the pump is on. So pump is we can take in connection with limit switch 4. So limit switch 4 is identify the workpiece is placed or not. So whenever the pump and limit switch 4 is on the solenoid wall 3 is activates and solenoid wall 3 is activates and the clamp is done right similarly the solenoid wall 3 is on and limit switch 4 so limit switch 4 is on then and only the solenoid 1 is on solenoid 1 means what the the air will goes from this side and this drill bit goes down. So when it reaches to the limit switch 2, so it stops and it goes to the down position. So we can take as a reference solenoid 1 and limit switch 1. So the limit solenoid wall 2 activates and the drill bit goes up per side. So this is the ladder ram for automatic drilling. Similarly, we discuss for the automatic packaging. So here we provide two conveners. The first convener for 
moving the boxes and second converter is for second converter is for the moving apples so when you press the start button the first convener that is box convener will starts and the box will contact with this sensor then box will stops after that we can take as a reference and then apple motor will starts and whenever the counting of 10 apples into the system then the this box convener will starts and when the box will reaches to the, this side then again this apples will be goes down so same process will carries over here so for the purpose we identify the input and output ports so first of all start and stop button is for moving motors then first sensor is that is sensor for box so it is placed over here then sensor for apples so sensor for apples for counting purpose that's why we are placing over here so after reaching the 10 counts the apple motor convener stops and this convener that box convener will starts so that that's why these are the input ports and output port is like that for box motor convener that is first output second output is for apple motor convener then third is for counter receipts so while constructing the ladder when you start the button press the convener motor starts so this is the convener motor will starts so when it reaches to the this sensor it will stops so this this limit switch sensor will stops the convener and because of this limit switch switch it will start the apples apple motor convener so here we place in the stop button because if it is emergency is there you can use this switch and apple convener motor is in normally close contact because whenever the actuation of corner motor is there so at that time apple motor is to be stopping positions so we'll take the reference of limit switch and we will start the apple motor convener so whenever apple motor convener starts so when it at the same time the apple motor as well as this photo sensor will starts the counter so whenever the counting will takes place up to the 10 then counter will resets as well as the stops the apple motor so that's apple kernel motor so if it is required uh, again this cyclic process then reset button is pressed uh, and because of this reset button the this process will moves in a cyclic manner so this is regarding the automatic packaging now we move for automatic detection sorting and packaging using plc control so when this x component is there then sensor one is actuated and it is sent to the chute a and if it is sensor two is actuated then it is identify the component is y then the sensor two identifies and this flap will be on so when it is flap is on then y component is goes to rejection sites if it is sensor when actuated then x component is identified and it moves to the chute a so here the chute a is placed over here so after count of 10 then chute a is closed by this solenoid valve flap and then it moves to the x component in a chute b so it also reaches 10 then whole system will be stops so this is the detection sorting and packaging so detection means it identifies x and y components and sorting means it sort rejection parts on that side and an okay size will be is move in chute a and or chute b so for packaging purpose so chute a and chute b is provided okay so first of all we identify the input outputs so there are two inputs s1 and s2 s1 identifies x components and s2 identifies y components then four output will be present over here that is 
O double dot zero slash one that is solenoid wall one. This is solenoid one. Then solenoid wall operative flap is over here. This is flap. Then counter reset and counter reset is there. This three and five. And after that alarm is there. So whenever the counting will be takes place, after that the alarm will be takes place. So now we move for constructing the ladder. So sensor one is actuated. The solenoid wall will be actuated. So that solenoid one actuated means the Y component goes on that side. So that is rejection sides. When solenoid when S2 is actuated, then the component moves to the chute A. So that's why when sensor two is there, the counting also takes place as well as the after counting 20, this counting done bit actuates and the solenoid wall operated flap will be on because for packaging purpose we require 10 counts so after that this flap will be on so that reference will take over here after completion of 20 then the solenoid wall operated flap will be on and we take the reference as a reset and then if it is sensor 2 actuates for the counter done bit over here and then the counter 2 will be activated. So after reaching this counter bit 10, then it will stop whole system. And then if we require in cyclic manner, so this counter reset is required. So again in this process we will moves in a cyclic way. So this is regarding the automatic pack. Sorry, this is regarding the automatic addition and sorting. Thank you.